Hi guys. I hope everyone's doing super dandy today because for today's video, we're gonna be knitting a sweater. And I personally have never knit a full project. I have attempted to knit and then not really knit, like just, I've never really knit anything before. So I thought today I would just whip out a, just a knit sweater. That's what we're gonna try to do. And I'm gonna try to design it myself. I don't have a pattern. I didn't get a pattern, so we're just gonna draw it on my iPad and then create it. I do know how to crochet, even though crochet and knitting are nothing really like, or a little bit, but not really like, so I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know. I'm gonna draw my design with this color yarn that I have. So for my design, I think I wanna have a little cropped sweater, maybe just above my belly button so I don't have to like, you know, do too much work. And then just some long sleeves. And I, I think that's my design. And then for the colors, I want it to be majority this blue color here. And then I'm thinking about adding some red and possibly green to it. So I have a few needles to choose from. I have 15. 15, 12, and 10. And I have this yarn. I wanna say 10, just because the yarn isn't that thick and I think it said for eight millimeters, so I was gonna go just a tad bigger. But I have no many stitch, but I have no idea how many stitches I need for this, so I'm gonna be fancy and I'm gonna do a little swatch. Never done this before, so. Let's do a little practice run. So I think I wanna cast on 40 with these smaller needles. Maybe that will be a good size or 45. I'm not really sure, but I'm just gonna do a few rows of it and then we will measure to see if I'm close and if it even looks good, I don't know. There's a lot more like prep I'm now realizing with knitting. Crochet, you can just go at it. Like, you just go at it because it's just like, you can see how big it is as you go. But knitting, you can't. So I did like one and a half rows of 50 stitches and I definitely think I, I overshot it. So I'm just gonna pull this off. It's 26 and that's too wide. I probably wanted about 22, 20, three inches, probably around there. Round two, let's try 42 stitches. Four, 26, 28, 30, 38, 40, 42. Oh, I went two over, bye-bye. So I got 42 stitches casted on to my, my needle. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to knit. And there's a whole bunch of different types of knitting, patterns, everything. But I'm gonna try to do the most basic one, which is a knit and then a purl. And that's like the most traditional like knit look clothing. Like most of your clothing would have that kind of V look to it. So I'm gonna try to do that. So first row I gotta do after I cast this on is just a basic knit. Also, just with a little dis disclaimer, um, I'm going to show you how I do this knitting right now, but I'm not very good, so you might need to watch another tutorial to learn how to knit if you don't know how to knit like me. First, you put the needle in... Okay, well, first we got to untangle it. Once you, you know, have it untangled, we can restart. Okay, start all over. Put the needle through there, the loop, so they're both in there. Then you wrap around the yarn behind the back one. You pull it through almost, but then you kind of drag that loop out. And then um, you're supposed to just push that yarn piece off, but I did it way too tight my cast on. So it should be a lot easier than how it looks like this. Um, but that's the majority of it. You just keep doing this again and again and again and again for the knit row. This is how my first row looks. Not the best, but maybe it will get better. But second row is now the purl stitch. And this is the stitch that really, you know, gets me because I don't know why I struggle with it. It's just a backward knit stitch, but 
it it just it just confuses me. It confuses me a lot. So I think I was a little too confident and I was just admiring my work because it looks so beautiful so far and I'm just so proud of it because it's perfect. Like it's perfect. I'm gonna toot my own horn. It's perfect. And I think I was just admiring it a little too much because I forgot what row was the row before and um, I did two pearl rows back to back. So I'm gonna need to figure out how to take this last row apart without ruining my beautiful work. So now looking at this after the fact, it's not that difficult. It's just knit is very sensitive. You don't want to push her buttons. You don't want to get angry at her because she'll get very angry and then she'll just give up and then she'll make you restart. So just be very gentle, go one by one, put it back onto the other needle by undoing the stitch and she should be, you know, nice with you. So I fixed my sweater. So I was like, okay, we can get some tea and we can cozy up and continue working on it. This is from Montreal. <laughs> I just burnt my hands. My most prized possession. Oh, no. Well, anyways, I was trying to show you that this cup was from Montreal and it was a bad day to use loose leaf tea because it's all over my carpet. Pretty impressive that I got the window. And I even got this window over here too. That is impressive. So we got lucky there. No, no major burns, just, you know, little burns here and there, but nothing major, so. Whew. I'm just gonna stick with water now. I'm done, the first part. This is how much I'm done. I've, I've done, this is how much I've done. I'm gonna move on to red now, and the red is a little bit more chunkier, so I think that'll look good. I think it'll look good having a few different weights in the sweater. To change color, I'm pretty sure you just snip that one, yeah. Take the new color, line them up, I will not like that. And then continue knitting. Ooh, this red looks good. Man, I like knitting. I didn't think I'd actually like knitting. I thought crochet would be my one love, but I kinda like knitting. This is pretty cool. The stripe is done. Sorry, that was kinda aggressive. But I just wanted to show you that the stripe is done and I'm working on blue and then work on some red again and some green and then hopefully we can get done this um, this body portion soon. There's a hole in my sweater. I could leave it and just have a hole in the middle of my sweater but this is supposed to be like this portion so uh, I, don't, I don't know. I, I probably should just go back and fix it like it's only four rows back, so yes, it's a decent bit back, but I knew I messed up there and I was like, eh, it'll be fine. It'll probably just look a little weird, but it'll be okay. And I just kept going and I should have just like fixed it. Okay, I have one more mistake I gotta admit. It's curling here, which means I should have started with ribbon. Well, I don't really want to start over just because I spent hours doing this and it looks really, really good. I think I made it too small. I think it's a little small, but I gotta run with it because I'm not gonna restart it now. Like it's, it's gonna fit, it's just gonna be more fitted. It's not gonna be as oversized as I was hoping. I really wanted a nice oversized one, but nope. It's kind of fitted. So for the back piece, I am doing the exact same thing, same pattern. So I'm starting off with my blue here and I'm going to cast on 42 stitches. Hi guys, it's later now and I actually got a decent amount done in a really short amount of time. So I really don't know what I was doing all day today because I just finished like half the body in like an hour and a half. 
Okay, maybe it's not, you know, half of it, but I got a good chunk done. But it's getting dark out, so I need to go do some adult things like feed myself, eat dinner. Benson's eating dinner now, but I need to eat. See you guys tomorrow! I'm wearing the same shorts and socks today. So we're gonna start with a little update this morning before we get going on the knitting because I, I'm very impressed with this one thing. These knitting needles connect together so you don't lose them and they also hold your work together so it does not come apart. My mind is just blown. I love these needles and now I need to go buy a set of these needles in every single size possible. I also finished a decent amount last night when I was sitting in bed just, you know, knitting away. We were close to actually having two front, well, one front and one back piece. So I'm gonna finish that this morning. And then after that, we are gonna work on the arms. It's also like so satisfying clicking these together. That sounded weird. So I'm done both parts of the sweater, the, the front and the back of the sweater. So I'm going to try and do ribbing at the top here and then I'll just like flip it around and then this will be the top now of the sweater, which it's fine. And I'm gonna practice on here because I don't know if I'm like super confident with ribbing. I know it's supposed to be like knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, and it's just that pattern, but it's, it's still a little confusing for me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, for this ribbing, rib, ribbing, I, rib, I don't, I don't know what it's called, but for this thing I'm doing, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a knit, and then once you're done that knit stitch, you kind of flip it through the center, like right, right here, you put it through the center, and then you do the pearl. And then once you're done the pearl, you flip the yarn through the center, you know, flip it onto the other side, and then you do a knit, and then you flip it through the center, and then you do a pearl. Does that make sense? If not, I'll have all the links down below so professionals can teach you how to knit properly. So I'm just finishing up the ribbing on my first piece that I, you know, finished and then having, you know, to, to do now. Once I'm done these, then I can actually start sleeve time. According to my research, I think you're supposed to have smaller needles for different parts of like your, your sweaters. So like for the ribbing, technically it's supposed to be like smaller needles and then for the body, arms, it's, it's bigger needles. But I use my smallest needles for the whole body of the sweater. So we're using the same needles for the ribbing and um, the ribbing won't really be ribbing as in like it won't actually be like tighter um, to be honest, I am starting to get a little bit tired because it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't even finished one arm yet. I'm done like three quarters of the arm. I think I gotta get it to about here just because I think the top, it's gonna like go off the shoulder so the seam won't be at the top of the shoulder. It'd be kind of be like down here. So um, we're getting there. So I'm like 99.999% chance that it makes sense. 99.99% confident that this sleeve is the right length. But there's like a 0.001% chance that it might not be because obviously I haven't done this sweater before. So I'm gonna put together, you know, the front and the back just at the shoulder here and then measure it. This looks like a little boy's vest. So it doesn't hang off as much as I thought it would, so 
that 1.001 was actually correct. Here's the sweater so far. And now that I'm done the sleeve, I'm starting to see, you know, it's not as much of, you know, like a five-year-old boy's sweater anymore. Like it looks more trendy, maybe. I don't know. I gotta work on this other sleeve now. So I'm gonna start the same thing I did last time where I'm starting with the ribbing first because this obviously looks a lot better there compared to here. I wish I had a good update for you guys because I've been sitting here in my chair trying to freaking knit this, <laughs> this stupid sleeve for over an hour now and I keep having to undo it and redo it and undo it and redo it because I keep messing up the ribbing. Like I even had to cut some off because it got so knotted, the yarn here, because I've taken it apart so many times and redone it so many times that it's, it's getting very frayed, the yarn now. So I guess it's technically day three now. I was up after my golf lesson last night because I I, I'm doing golf lessons again, which is fun or golf practice. I don't really know what you call it. Golf practice? I had like this done before. I finally actually figured out the ribbing on this sleeve after doing it 70 like two times. I finally figured it out. I think I was like counting it wrong. So I had an odd number. You need even for ribbing. So I figured it out and I have like almost half the sleeve done. It kind of reminds me of like strawberry, these two colors together. But I'm just gonna continue knitting. I'm gonna see if I can finish the sleeve today and then tomorrow I will put the sweater together and hopefully it fits, cause if it doesn't, well that was a big waste of like three days. I am just like super impressed that I didn't poke out one of Benson's eyeballs or both of his eyeballs because he loves to get up right in my grill like right now. He, he's trying to climb up on me because he, I, Benson, I'm, I'm working. But he's, he's just always on top of me, beside me, and these are some long needles. So <laughs> I'm, I'm just very happy he still has both eyeballs because he likes to move around and be all up. Why are people texting me? Okay, I'm back. That was kind of a mess, but um, everyone still has their eyeballs, so it was a successful knit session. But after I was done that last arm, I went to starting to put everything together. And I actually ran out of yarn, so I had to use this other light blue yarn that I had. And I just weaved the ends together until I had some like armholes there, and I did that for the body. And then I attached the arms well, I folded them like right sides together and then sewed up the arms there and then I sewed them on to my body. That's, that's how you do it. Hi guys. It's like 48 days later. Okay. It's actually not 48 days later, but you know, it's like a week later because I just take my sweet time when it comes to finishing projects. I'm just like not a huge fan of like weaving in all the ends inside the sweater. So usually I wait to like the last possible moment to do it. So I weaved all the ends this morning and my sweater is finally done now. It's really warm, it's really cozy, which is perfect because it's raining outside. It's the perfect day to have a nice cozy sweater like this on. The only thing I kind of regret is that I really wish I made the body portion a little bit more wide just because I feel like this is not as proportioned to the arms but then again like this is my first time knitting and knitting a pattern like all of the above so like what do you really expect it's not gonna be perfect first time but I'm still pretty impressed with this sweater I still really love it like I'm still gonna wear it like I don't care I still love it it's just like 99% rather than like a hundred percent Good. But here's the 360. What do we think? I like it, so that's all that matters. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of me knitting a sweater for the first time. I really enjoyed it and I already bought more yarn to like make more knitted sweaters. It's all right here. It's like this pretty light green. I got this one, which is like another green. I got blue. Brown 
and one more green. Those are the colors for my next sweater. That is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed making my first knit sweater with me. I'm like out of breath. But that's it for today's video. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.